Assalamu alaikum friends, my name is Muhammad Yunus and I am Odo Technical Developer. If you haven't subscribed our channel, please click the red subscribe button to subscribe our channel and get the updates of the upcoming videos. So today our topic is how to hit complex domain conditions in Odo. For example, this is the conditions that I want to add in Odo, but I don't know how to uh, convert it in the format that is acceptable for Odo and it works in Odo properly. So for this purpose, uh, I have summarized a few steps that you can follow and you can convert a and you can convert complex domains uh, in the Odo format. So first uh, thing that you need to understand is there are uh, multiple uh, formats that are used uh, for the domain conditions like prefix, infix, and uh, postfix. So Udo is using a prefix format, and uh, these conditions is uh, in uh, inf infix format. So first of all, we will have to convert this into the prefix format. Then uh, we can use in Odo. So what is a prefix format? In prefix format, uh, the operators are used at the start of the conditions, and the conditions are used uh, after the operators. And inside the infix uh, infix format, the operators are used between the conditions. So we need to uh, convert uh, this uh, infix format into the prefix format and then we'll use in Odo. So the first step is to simplify the uh, condition uh, by adding some letter assignments. So for example, for the first condition, we need to use A letter and then B, C and E. So the expression will look like this A and B are C and D and E. So this is the expressions uh, that we get after replacing the condition with some um, letters. Then we can use the this link to convert this um, infix format to prefix. But uh, we will have to replace this and and R operator with asterisk and plus sign. After um, converting it into this format, then we will have to um, go to this link uh, like uh, I will show you let me copy it and go to uh, the browser and uh, visit this link so here you will be able to see this uh, uh, screen so paste the conditions that we have uh, added and then click the convert button so here you can see two uh, formats this is postfix and this is prefix which is used in Odoo so this is the format that we got and uh, here uh, what we need to do, we will have to replace a uh, static with and operator uh, and plus with uh, the bar operator, uh, which is R operator. And then we will have to replace these letters with the conditions specified here. So um, at the end, we will get this result uh, like you can see and uh, and and then r and then end and then all the conditions added here so this is uh, these are the sim uh, simple steps that you can follow in order to prepare complex domains in odoo so this uh, link i am going to add in the description and you can find in the description of the video thank you